Um, I, the goal of assembly, at least have that print out. We read it every week. Um, but we, uh, the main goal of assembly is to is layman's terms take take the potential energy. We have Orlando's like this ball of potential energy, our energy, and we we want to tap that energy and have it spread. I mean, this art can spread like veins through this entire city and basically like engulf the city. And it's, it's totally possible, it's totally doable. And I don't, I don't think it's necessary for assembly to be the singular entity. Yeah, it's like, you can see how they're really similar, which is like, I mean, it's kind of weird because we're like all really similar to like, like a rabbit and a hog and a chick and all these. I'm really into like um, experimenting with art and different things. And um, I use the fetuses because I'm really uh, interested in embryology. And uh, I kind of like it because, I don't know, like my idea with it was to kind of like make some art with the uh, skeletons that were kind of feminine but have like this like, stark like fetus that's not so like flowery, you know what I mean? And uh, even though this piece isn't really like that, can you point out the pieces for me? Yeah, because I feel like I can see. That's the head. Okay, there we go. That's All right. the um, ribs, the side, the legs. It's going to be lit better where you can see it. Hey, Mel, turn around so you can see the brown side. Yeah, this is the brown side. Stencil for a. Uh, a suitcase. I, I got this old suitcase. It's really nice. Uh, it's a okay. case well on. You know, that's pretty much. Uh, so you play with that? Like, like a suitcase or something that you do? Something you take on a plane. It's something you buy. It's like a travel, but like you're kind of like a more Yeah. It's like a mixture of both. We had 800 people come out. I mean, it's, it's the assembly's biggest show so far. It's the biggest thing I've. I mean, it's the biggest art show I've ever seen in the city. I mean, the first like four hours, we had 500 people come through. That was just 21 hours. and we force people to think. And the more people have to think, the more they're gonna open their minds and their eyes to like what's happening. Cause I mean, even me, I, I sat in these lulls of Orlando's this boring city, Orlando's shit, I hate living here, there's no culture. And then I started, I started opening my eyes and realizing that instead of focusing on how, how boring it was, all the negative things about this city, if I start to focus and keep a, a watchful eye out for all the positive like art happenings in the city, there's a lot, and there's a lot, a lot of potential. And that's, I think that's what separates Assembly is we have that corporate, that corporate backing. Like, we have government officials that want to help us. We have, you know, corporate ass kissers in our group, and this sounds silly, but that's what you have to have. And if you're going to make it in the United States, this is a society where you have to be able to sell yourself. And these other groups are kind of, it's fun to meet in houses. It's fun to have gallery shows in houses. I love it. There's nothing like a house show. It's so raw and organic, but it can't compare to the, the workforce and the amount of people that we can pull out with assembly. It's like, we, have, we are a press machine can pull out fucking 800 people. Every other group in the city is lucky if they get 200. Here, I think the main things we have going for us are, one, we have youth, uh, we have money, and we have something the city needs. Like, any city that wants to be a strong city needs art, and our city doesn't have strong art backbone, so it's, it's a weak city, it's just 
that's why people don't want to live here, and that's why people talk shit on the city, is because there's there's no backbone to it. A lot of corporations, and a lot of Christians, and a lot of fucking like boring, greedy, moral people. And it, it, the city won't grow with that. You need people that want to have fun. You need people that want to push envelopes. And you need people that want to so I want to say, okay, this is how it's been going. We don't want it to go that way anymore. We want to turn everything that's happening out on its ass and bring something totally new in. And so what we're, we're actually, I mean, we're blowing people away. People are coming to these shows and being so impressed. And one of the quotes someone said to me was like, you know, I can't believe this is Orlando, Florida. It's just like, I feel like I'm in, I feel like I'm in Brooklyn. This is so Williamsburg. It sounds stupid, but it's like, to have any kind of like fucking resemblance to Williamsburg and Orlando is 